Hey there, Robert again. So this is in response to your response to tough question number six, where I ask, if Jesus chose the Associated Bible students' teachings as the ones to represent him in 1914, then the Jehovah's Witness split from the group later on and changed the teachings that Jesus accepted. Why are Jehovah's Witnesses God's people still, and not the ones that kept the teachings that Jesus chose in 1914 to represent him? Your response here boils down to Jehovah's Witnesses changed their name to Jehovah's Witnesses to sanctify God's name as he commanded. And that's all well and good. I mean, God did say that people should sanctify his name, but my question deals more with the idea that if Jesus came down today and chose a group to represent him, say it's the Jehovah's Witnesses, then a group splitters from them, changing, say, the entire doctrine about the 144,000 being sealed as a specific number, then claimed they were the chosen people of Christ, what would you tell them? Would you tell them something about how when Jesus came down, he chose specific teachings, and by straying from these teachings, they were going against Christ's will? Uh, regardless, back on topic of your response. Jehovah's Witnesses are chosen over the Associated Bible students because they sanctify God's name as Jehovah, and they're even labeled with his name. There's one fatal flaw in this explanation. Jehovah is not God's name. And never has been, never will be. I have more on this in my bonus tough question number four, so I'm going to refer to that for my explanation on why Jehovah is not God's name. I'm going to stick that video in the sidebar. It's going to be down here if you're watching on the beta channels and right there if you're watching on the actual old style channels. Thanks, Robert. Have a good day, man.